Hi, welcome to part 2 of the Gingerbread Girl tutorial. In this video we'll do the arms, buttons, bow, skirt and final assembly. So we're going to start on the arms and you'll need to make two of these. In round one it's six single crochet in a magic ring using the brown yarn. In round two, we do two single crochet into each stitch from round one. This means we're doing six increases, which brings us up to 12 stitches in the round. Now we're going to do six rounds of just single crochets all the way around. That means for rounds 3 to 8 it's just 12 single crochet. And I'll do these 6 rounds off camera. After round 8 we can remove the stitch marker and then stuff the arm but only about halfway. Then we're going to fold the arm flat and do single crochets across the top to close it. Then we can cut the yarn making sure to leave a tail for sewing later. And remember you'll make two of these. Now we'll be doing the bow and I'll be using green yarn for this. Start by making a slip knot. And chain 4. Now in the third chain from the hook, which is this one here, we're doing 4 double crochet into the same stitch. Then chain 2 and slip stitch back into that same chain stitch. Now we slip stitch into that first chain stitch and chain 2 and then 4 double crochet into that same stitch. And chain 2 and then slip stitch back into that same chain stitch. Now cut the yarn making sure to leave a tail so that we can wrap it around the middle. And now just wrap that tail around the middle quite a few times. Once it's as thick as you like, you can bring those tails to the back and tie them together. Now we'll do the buttons and I like making two of these. In round one it's six single crochet in a magic ring. Pull the ring tight and then do a slip stitch back into that first single crochet.
Then we can cut the yarn, making sure to leave a tail for sewing. Now we are going to crochet the skirt, and this is crocheted directly onto the body. The rest of the piece was done using spiral rounds, but the skirt is done using joined rounds. This means instead of doing each round in a spiral, we join and chain one. I had some camera issues initially when filming the skirt, so I had to film this afterwards. That is why some of the pieces are already on. We'll be working with the piece upside down. You can start in any of these front loops at the back, but I like starting in this one, which is the first stitch of round 5. And we're going to start with a standing single crochet. To do this, first make a slip knot. Put it on the hook, and then insert your hook into that stitch. Yarn over, and pull through a loop, and then yarn over, and pull through both loops on the hook. And I'm going to mark this stitch, because it's the first stitch of round 1. The second single crochet of the round is going into this marked stitch here. And we're going to single crochet all the way around. This means we should have 36 single crochet in total. And the last stitch of the round is going just before the stitch we started in. Now, because it's joined rounds, we slip stitch back to the first single crochet to join it. That was also the standing single crochet. Now that's the end of round 1. To start round 2, we chain 1. And the first stitch of the round is going into that same marked stitch. And with joined rounds, I like to mark the first stitch of each round, because this is the one we join to. So I've done my first single crochet of the round. And in round 2, it's 5 single crochet, and then an increase. And we do that six times. And here is my last increase. And it might look like there's a gap before the first stitch, but that's just because of the chain stitch. Then we slip stitch back into that marked stitch. And that's the end of round 2. Now for round 3, once again we chain 1 to start. And then the first single crochet is going into that same stitch. And I'm marking it as my first stitch of the round. So I've done one single crochet, and now in the next stitch I do an increase. And we're going to do that all the way around, so a single crochet, and then an increase. This means we'll do it 21 times in total, which brings round 3 up to 63 stitches. And here's my last increase. 
and then we join back to that marked stitch with a slip stitch. And that's the end of round three. In round four, we start with a chain stitch. And the first single crochet goes into that same stitch. And we're just doing single crochets all the way around. And I'll finish off this round off camera. So I've done my last stitch of the round and now I join to that first stitch. And that's the end of round four. Round five is the same. Chain one, single crochet into that same stitch. And then single crochet all the way around. Once again, I'll finish off this round off camera. And I've done my 63 single crochet. And now we slip stitch to that first stitch to close. Now you can see because we did joined rounds that edge is nice and neat. Now we can cut the yarn making sure to leave a bit of a tail for weaving in. And you can just weave that tail through the skirt down towards the bottom. And I like to bring it through somewhere on the body. Then you can take the tail from the start of the skirt and bring that through to a few places on the body. And then bring it through to meet the other tail. Now we are going to sew on the arms and the arms are sewn on about two rounds down from the neck. Once you have an arm in place, grab a stitch from the body and go up into a stitch of the arm. And then down into the next stitch of the arm and then grab the next stitch of the body and do this all the way across. Once I reach the other side, I like to go back towards the front, grab a stitch there and go back towards the back. And you can do this a few times. Then bring that tail towards the back. And we're going to sew on the second arm exactly the same way. Bring the tail back to meet the other one and then we can just tie these tails together. Next we're going to sew on the buttons. First I like to take the tail from the magic ring and insert that where I want the button to go.
Then sew the button in place using the other tail. Once again we first grab a stitch from the body Go up into a stitch of the button and down into the next stitch of the button. And we do this all the way around. And you'll do the second button exactly the same way. Now we're going to sew on the bow. And I like to just use one of the yarn tails to place it. And then use the other yarn tail to sew it in place. Just do enough stitches so that it's secure. Lastly, we're going to embroider the smile, and I like to sew it on like this. And that is the Gingerbread Girl completed. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'd also love to see your creations on Instagram. Please tag my account, I'll put the link in the description box.